We've done 200,000, we've done 500,000, today we're going twice as far, 1 million feet into the sky. Or at least we're going to try really really hard to do it. Normally I buy a trash can or a crate right away, but today we're just going to start empty. We're just going to work on the launcher straight away, a simple coil. Which definitely isn't going to take me very far, but that doesn't really matter. I just need a bit of money. Because then I can buy a glider, which is better than a trash can or a crate. And from there we're just going to upgrade the coil a few times, just to get a little more altitude. Because the quicker we make money, the quicker we're going to make more money. And that's really what it's all about. We already made $66. Then we're just going to buy some auxiliary rockets just to get us a little higher up into the sky. And maybe even a few balloons just because they're cheap. That's just going to help us make money. Now we uh, look like a penguin with a tail. But we can use our auxiliary booster once we're this high up to get us just a little higher. But that's going to add a lot of money for altitude and time. We are at $182. We got $4,500 of the million feet we need. I think I want to upgrade the auxiliary rockets though because they can certainly do better than that. They're already maxed. Then we're going to get a better coil. Because you can never have too much coil, we're already at the double system. So once my speed drops off just a little bit, back to the rockets. And we hit about 9,500 feet. Otherwise known as $320, so the money is starting to add up. Let's max out our balloons. And the glider maybe needs a bit of an upgrade too. Then we're going to do the coil one more time. We've almost already got these low level upgrades all the way up. Now we're getting somewhere. Look at the size of that balloon. 11,000 feet. So let's upgrade the coil two more times to its max level. And then the glider one more time. We even opened up a few more slots. It's going to take a lot of work to get to a million feet. That's really all I've determined so far. But we'll get there eventually. There's 14,000, 15,000 feet. That's worth almost $500 already. Then I kind of forgot about the BP menu here. Uh, so we're going to use something here to upgrade ourselves. Maybe like the Golden Hammer. Upgrade stages beyond their regular max level. That sounds pretty important to me. So we're going to max that one out for sure. And then this. Turning the knob on this increases your boost potential because science. Maybe we'll just reduce gravity on Earth a little bit. It's not by much, but that's going to make a difference eventually. Then maybe reduce the, uh, the cost of colliding with objects because I hit a lot of things. So I just put a little more money into the glider which opened up even more slots and we're going to upgrade the balloon beyond level max. And then we get to see what difference all these little upgrades made. There's 18,000 feet which means we can already afford my beloved Sonic Burst. And I really like it just for the fact that it is so quick to get you very high up because quick money is good money. And that jumped us all the way up to 23,000 feet. So I'm probably just going to slap another one of those on for now just for the easy money. We're even going to upgrade one one time and then the balloons are going past max level still. And then for fun, I'm going to add a balloon. That's just going to reduce our weight a little bit. That will hopefully help me out in some way, but I'm not entirely sure because I don't really know what I'm doing. But I know that between these two sonic bursts, we're going to get some altitude today. We're up to almost 30,000 feet. Basically 1 30th of the way to our goal, but $1,300 to work with. So our glider is almost max level, and then we're just going to do the sonic burst more times. And maybe some of the balloons. I've maxed out the glider thanks to a few runs, and now it looks green. Fine, we can have a green glider. And we're going to keep going on our balloons, of course, just because we can. And these balloons too, because weightlessness. Now we're up to about 37,000 feet. And we're making about $2,000 per run now. So we're going to get a max upgraded balloon, and then probably upgrade another one of the Sonic Bursts just a little bit. That brought us up to 42,000 feet, so we're making steady progress. $3,000. But I think we're overdue to get a new launcher, because this is only a power of 400. I think we'll probably use the power of explosives at this point. 950 power at base. Then the first upgrade takes us up to 1600, and that takes us up to 2500. Next we might upgrade the glider, but we'll see how this is going to do, because already we're doing much better. There's 35,000 feet already. Plus the boosters are about to kick in, so we're over 55,000 and up to 70,000. And that's good for $4,400, so we're going to grind that out a little bit. Took a few minutes to grind up $20,000. So let's upgrade our explosives all the way to max and then do some of our sonic bursts. Uh, that one's all the way up to level 7, this one's now up to level 6. This is going to make a big difference. There's 100,000 feet already just from upgrading the explosives at the beginning. Then we use our little booster to take us up to here, at which point the sonic whatevers are going to blast us even higher. We're up to 164,000 feet. A million doesn't seem so impossible now. And $10,000 for a single run. Kind of want to see what we can level we can get this balloon up to. Do they just keep going? That's max level plus 18. 
that's so expensive for just balloons. It was a bit of a bad launch, but we still made it 167,000 feet. We're just hitting a lot of crap along the way. Did that a few times, so we're up to $51,000. So we'll probably get one of these to max at least. And that feels pretty good. Oh, we can go over max though now, can't we? This is gonna get fun. We also have something new called multi-jumps. Uh, I'm not really sure what they are. They have a power of 25, so we're gonna throw one of those on too. Okay, well, I'm sure they're helping somehow. Yep, they're giving us little boosts along the way. And that's good because we need the help. There's the big booster and the second booster. It was a terrible run, but 190,000 feet. So let's give this one a little more food and then upgrade the multi-jump because I feel like that's going to actually be very helpful. Then I think I'm going to swap my glider out for a jet. A jet just seems to make more sense. Uh, we're going to lose a bit of stuff here, but as we upgrade this, we should get some of that back, I hope. Uh, anyways, for now, we're going to get rid of the balloon. Uh, it was a fun idea, but we're going to change that back to uh, a sonic burst because I lost one over here, mainly. And we can take that one all the way up to level 8 already. So I'm hoping changing to a jet is actually a positive improvement and not a bad one. So far, it seems to be pretty good because we're over 200,000 feet. And we're getting these nice little boosts upwards. So there's 220,000, which is good for $13,000, which isn't a ton of money anymore, but it's enough for at least one upgrade. Oh, and because we just upgraded the jet to level 5, we got our third sonic boost back. So this thing's actually going to go pretty high, as long as I keep it going pretty straight. But I think the shape of it actually keeps it going mostly straight straight up because if I hit things they almost deflect and keep me going. 264,000. So this Sonic Burst is now max level. Uh, we can go further obviously but the usual max level then we're gonna upgrade the jet a few times. I just grinded out another $62,000. Not that it took a particularly long time but we now got a max level jet. Which means I've still got $57,000 to spend on something in this category. So maybe I'll try the F1 bell nozzle, mostly because it's the most expensive and it's got to be helpful for a jet at some point. And we made it go all the way to max level already. Then I'm going to upgrade my robot arms a little more and that's as good as it gets, but we'll see how high we go now. So far so good. We got the big jets on the bottom. We're going up pretty quickly. Uh, there's 275,000 and we're still going. Well, that took us up to about 300,000, so we're a third of the way there. And I thought it would be fun to grind up $160,000, that way we could get a few more nice little upgrades if we want them. So we need to get some of these a little bit higher leveled. Maybe we'll do it evenly, because they're going to get very expensive the more into max level we get. Let's see if we can get them all max level plus 5 for now. Then I think I'm also going to remove the Pingu Balloon, because as nice as it is, that's a very basic upgrade, and we're going to add something better, maybe Mini Helpers. Or maybe a Bug Drive, because I'm not really sure. The only boost that replenishes fuel. Alright, well, it can't hurt to get more fuel, because we've got a few things that need fuel. Then I'm going to see how many times I can upgrade this, so it's now a power of 685, because it's plus 13 above max. So basically, this is what it looks like when you add another $150,000 into upgrades on our already super jet. Uh, so far, so good good, I think. We're over 300,000 at least and still going strong. Well, 337,000, 300, well, we're over 10% better than we just were. And there's another $200,000. It's just a matter of what we want to upgrade now. Maybe we'll go for something better than explosives for a launch. I don't really know what alien bait is. So we're going to get that and just upgrade it all the way and kind of see what happens. I don't have high hopes for this. Use to stay inside the beam. Okay, so we just need to stay interesting it's not as exciting but it's doing something the cow is a lie abort okay and that dumps us out there i don't really like that one very much it's way too slow and i don't think it gets us very high nope this was actually a downgrade from before that might be good under their circumstances but for right now that doesn't work with my rocket so let's sell the alien launcher and go back to a nuclear reactor this one works great because i have to do very little then I think I'm going to get rid of the bug drive because I don't think that's good for my rocket either. We're going to trade that out for maybe multi-rockets. And we can max those out right away because they're pretty rich. And then I'm going to upgrade another one of these guys up to that. And then one of these guys up to that. And then we're just going to keep going until we run out of money. Will this hit 1 million feet? I doubt it. But we're going to go pretty high up regardless. Uh, I'm going to turn on the jets. I guess I don't need to yet until the speed slows down anyway. And the speed doesn't slow down until we're at 420,000 feet now. So that's pretty good. I still don't really know what to do with like the rocket boosters, which ones are going to work best or not. But so far, so good. We're at almost 500,000. And that's pretty respectable, but we still need to go twice as high. 485,000. That by itself is worth $40,000, but what do we do from here? Where do we go? Maybe we'll swap out these auxiliary rockets because they're a pretty basic item too. Generally, things further down, I'm assuming, are better. 
So let's go with F1 Bell Nozzle again, because that's going to add some juice for sure. We can't even afford the last upgrade. And I'm going to do this part a little more efficiently. I shouldn't really touch anything now because we're going max speed anyway. Got to wait till the speed slows down and then I can use my jets. Oh, that's not good. We're upside down and we're good again. My rocket just looks really cool. I'm not sure if I like these little rockets. They do help, but they're very slow and it feels like they don't really give me a lot. So I'm going to swap them out for penguin helpers. After I take a moment to do some high speed grinding because I want money and chaos. So multi-rockets are out for my little penguin helpers. Uh, they should hopefully be a little better, but the F1 bell nozzle is also going to be max level now, along with the penguin helpers. And we have $111,000 left over. So let's upgrade this one, give it a little more power. This may or may not work better, but that's always kind of the test when we're playing this. I never know what's going to work until we just kind of try things. That was a bad launch, but at least we're climbing pretty good now. I don't think we're going to get a new record for height. Maybe I should just go all of those things. Would that work? Maybe we needed something better than a jet. Or maybe now that we have the max power uh, sonic burst, we can make the bullet work. Then it also has an F1 bell nozzle. I'm not sure if that's a good fit for this, but we're about to find out. So we're going up pretty quick. Uh, yeah, the problem, uh, as with last time, is you can't really control it. It's just going wherever it wants. I mean, we do have this booster after the fact to work with, but uh, if you're upside down, it takes too long to orient yourself before this is going to be of any use. So I'm probably going to add some shields to this just so we can blast through stuff, and then I'm also going to add another sonic burst just to make sure that bullet's going at full speed all the time. This... Mm, interesting. Well, that took us up to 450,000 feet almost instantly, but it still wasn't even close to where we needed to go. But we did save up some stuff in the bonus shop, so we can actually upgrade some stuff. The Golden Wrench. Upgrade bodies and launchers beyond their regular level. How many of these can I afford? Well, we got two upgrades to that for now, and that might actually be enough. Because now my nuclear reactor can go much higher, and the nuclear reactor has lots of power. So just for comparison, we're going to try the bullet again, just to see what kind of a difference that little bit of stuff made. And you know what? So far, it's pretty good. We're over 500,000 feet now. And this one's super easy to grind up money with, because if I put it on fast forward mode, all I got to do is go like this. And then I'm basically as high as I can go already. And that's worth, I think, $40,000. And then we can do it again. And it launches, and then before you know it, we're as high as we can go, and that's another $40,000. Then before you know it, you've got $550,000 to spend on crap. So next, we're going to reduce the effect of air drag, maybe. That sounds important, too. Then we're going to see how many upgrades we can get for the nuclear reactor. It's at plus 3 currently. Now it's at plus 13, plus 20. Then we're going to upgrade the bullet a few times, too, just because that'll make it faster. Okay, we're at plus 20 and plus 20. I guess that's as much as I'm allowed to have, because we've still got $273,000 left over to work with. So we're going to upgrade this little guy as many times as we can. And I think we're going to have a pretty fast bullet at this point. And I just realized we have a second helper now. We have mini helpers along with the shields. And that's just fine by me. I've put many millions of dollars into this marvel. I don't... Oh, there we are. I couldn't see... Well, okay. We're actually... Wow. We're stupidly high now. Uh, we're going downwards. But we hit, we hit 900,000 feet there. We're so quick that like I couldn't even keep up with where we were. There's an asteroid. $92,000 for that one. We'll try that again. We just hopefully won't get turned around because I'm not even sure what happened there. I guess because of the extra nuclear power. There's 600,000, 700,000. Oh, we're going sideways. Oh, no, we bounce back. Are we going to make it? Oh, we're so close. We're just hitting too many things still. Not to worry, I'm pretty sure I can make this work. I might have to put some fins or something on his bullet, uh, which will actually make it a little bit faster hilariously. But we'll make it a little more maneuverable because right now I'm turning as hard as I can and you can see it's not really turning. So maybe instead of the mini helpers, let's try maybe a repeller. What does a repeller do? Pushes back anything in your way. Oh, actually, that sounds kind of perfect for what we need because now I have shields and a repeller. So hopefully anything in the way just gets way out of the way. So far, mostly so good. No, we're still turning upside down for some reason. We get very consistently to like 900,000 feet and then we just get boned by everything. So I'm going to swap away from the shield because the shield doesn't seem to be helping anyway. Let's just go back to the penguins. My plan is to just go at light speed. We'll hopefully just dodge everything. Eventually we'll get lucky enough that this will work in theory, but we're so susceptible to hitting things. Okay, the shields are maybe going to be necessary because I don't even know what direction I'm going anymore. Okay, so back to the shields. 
Then we're gonna get a little more power out of my Sonic Boost, and they can go to a max level of 30 now. Three times what their original limit was. So we're gonna have three of those perfectly maxed out. Aside from that, let's increase thrust and reduce drag. That should nicely get us into orbit. Speed of fire. I don't know if we're even gonna get a chance to see the bullet. It might literally hit orbit like out of frame. Um, as long as we stay- no, we went upside down. Wait, we're still going upwards somehow. Nope, now we're going downwards. We didn't even break a new record for max speed. That's very disappointing. Maybe if we reduce gravity? Does reducing gravity help? Blow to fire. I'm ready. Less gravity means higher speed, hopefully, to stop hitting things. Oh, we're completely upside down already. Hmm. We're going to swap out the repeller for fins at this point. Hopefully the fins can help guide me. Uh, plus this is going to give me extra top speed, and we clearly need more extra top speed. It's either that or I need to take off one of my boosters to put on a proper jet so I can control myself at the top. Because we get to 900,000 feet pretty easily. Whoa, this... Oh, no, we did it. Never mind. That was easy that time. We didn't hit anything along the way. We launch with so much, like, velocity and force that even if we turn upside down, we still keep going backwards. And we made it all the way to the moon, one million feet away, and died a horrible death. But I got 600 BP for that, so that means more upgrades for our upgrades. 